hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to show and discuss how we use the uh, xpath as well as the css selector using the playwright in the playwright how we use the css selector as well as the xpath so let's see first xpath how we use that so like here here is a username and input uh, box as well as the password and login button so let's see how we handle this three so first of all we need to create xpath so if you don't know how we create xpath so i have a separate uh, playlist in my uh, youtube channel so you can go and learn how we create xpath as well as the css selector here i am going to show how we use xpath and css selector in a uh, playwright so let's create xpath so this is the id uh, we can use this id to create xpath so double slash input at the rate x uh, pasted the value id equal to email so this xpath is created copy this go to your test here i have already created one test method get locator by xpath so I can use here or expect age dot locator. Okay, we need to pass here the uh, locator age dot locator and then pass the x path. And then I'm going to verify this element is available or not. So we can call to be visible. Okay. Similar type other field, three fields. If I am going to verify, just create locator of X path and pass here in this field. Let me create locator X path of the path. And this time I am going to create X path of the password. So we have here name and then name equal to pass. Copy this, go to the playwright, test script paste here xpath of the password this is xpath of the uh, username next create the xpath of the login button so we have login name so we can copy this and here use the name equal to login and this is button so use the button tag copy this go to the playwright and paste here okay all these fields here i am using xpath to verify these fields next let me use this to enter some text so same method to enter the text we need to call the field button method and then pass the email address okay i need to call here away similar type for the rest three we can use here pass the password locator fill the password then this is login button i can use the login button locator and click click button so first i am verifying then i am entering the username and password into the password field and then clicking on login button okay so let me run now and you will see in the execution so right click i am going to run debug mode so that i can show you the uh, result on the page so open the browser and you can see it stopped it enter username and password if I click next, you can see click on the login button. Okay, so in this way we can identify the locators and use the XPath uh, locator in a playwright. Okay, so let's see next. Let's see how we use the CSS selector in the playwright. So same code I am going to convert in the CSS selector. Okay, copied here. So if I want to create a CSS selector of this, so we need to remove the 
double slash and here we need to remove the add bracket so now this is the css select if i go you will see the page css select similar type we can replace this so let me remove these and convert into the all in css select if you don't know how we create the css selector as, as well as the xpath i have already added the links in the description box you can use go and watch the video to learn how we create the css selector and how we use the xpath so here now i'm going to run the test and you will see it will work and handle by using the CSS selector. Browser is opened, and now you can see here it enter username as well as the password and click on login button. Here we are able to see the error message on the page. Okay, why we are getting because of why we are getting here because my username and password is not correct, so that's why we are getting. Okay, so let me click. now next one more things by default if we are using xpath and css selector and we are passing here directly using xpath and css selector so it will automatically detect the playwright to handle this also we can use here css selector equal to okay we, we can pass this this type of css selector by mentioning css selector equal to similar type here we can mention the xpath equal to okay it will also work but if you are not passing xpath equal to or css equal to then playwright will automatically handle this let me run and you can see this will also work see yeah working next let me run this also yeah you can see it's worked hope this will helps to understand how we use the css selector as well as the xpath in the playwright and if you have any question leave a comment and also if you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues